I know there are many valid complaints about Spotify, but I'm here to pay them a compliment because without them, I never would have discovered the James Hunter 6 and then turned around and bought four albums. <laughs> so this one's called Whatever It Takes. It's from 2018. I know another newish album on Elise's album still abide by. But trust me when I say when you listen to it, you're gonna probably do what I did. And that's triple check the release date because it does not sound like a modern day album, which is probably why I love it so much. So I get Ray Charles vibes right away. Like that was the first thing that came to mind. And I think that's perhaps why Spotify suggested that I listen to the James Hunter 6. But then I was surprised upon further reading that he hadn't hit my radar earlier because he had been tapped by some big names uh, to do some touring and some backup vocals and all sorts of things. Van Morrison in the early 90s, Willie Nelson, uh, Tom Petty. It should speak to his talent. He's so damn good and I want you to enjoy him. Favorite track here is the title track. It's often my favorite to sing to, so whatever it takes, James Hunter 6. <laughs> 